Wraith Kerber Kine once again takes to aviation, this time with the right knowledge, the right technology, and hopefully no crashes. Hello my friends, it's for planes again. And today I have yeah I've thought about something new or old, depending on the position you're viewing it. Um it's been quite a while since I've t taken to aviation and actually it's been quite a while since I've taken to any Kubus Days program on this channel, but that has some other reasons. I've decided to renew my Kubus Days program tutorial and go about the basics about how it's done and all again because the first time that was humorously bad it was so bad that I'm nearly running out of breath <laughs> telling you that anyways we're just making a very simple plane and um, that's interesting okay yeah, I have both. So, <coughs> um, as you can see, that's the base structure for a plane. It misses its wings, but other than that, it's totally fine. And we can see a few things. And I forgot something. Mm. Just a second. Mm. Why not? It may look ugly, but it does its job. It looks very ugly. Okay, so that's a plane. It currently has no wings, but we're going to go about the Nadita. As you can see, where my cursor is hovering around, that here is the center of mass. And that's very important because any forces by gravity that act on your plane will act on this center here as well as the plane's inertia so meaning that if the plane is moving already forwards and you're trying to make a directional change it will act perpendicular to the directional change perpendicular to the directional change so if you want to pitch up and make a loop it will from the plane's perspective also admit a force downwards there on sorry for that directly here that means the following thing. If we want to have an auto-pitching plane, which equals to zero controllability, we can make it like this. Um, yeah. I was successful because I forgot mirroring. Oops. We can make it like this. Though that will hardly have enough lift to lift us off the ground. Um, this plane on itself will always pitch upwards. And even when all goes worse, fly with this tail first because the aerodynamic forces act on the blue ball Oops. that you see here. And this blue ball is in front of this, well, yellow and black ball. And this means that if you push the nose down, it will push in front of this ball and it will push the entire craft around clockwise or counterclockwise if you look on at it from this direction but it will make the craft exaggerate any control movement you do if this is your desire for example you have built a fighter jet well then you can do all that obviously but I don't like doing such things so we're going about it a different way um, as you see, I've made it so that the blue ball is slightly behind this ball. We're going to fit it some control surfaces. And you will notice the ball even moves behind further. And that we can counteract by moving up the entire assembly a bit. And you see, that should be perfectly smoothly controllable. Mwah, more or less. If you want here. Our center of mass will move mm, back a little. So, 
Let's put it about here. Center of mass will move. We'll move back in flight a little. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. So. In theory that should fly about as well as a plane can fly. I'll not go about it what happens if you put the center of mass behind the center of lift or vice versa the center of lift in front of the center of mass. Oh, landing gear is somewhere different in point two two. It's now here. Okay. A small landing gear for this one. This will be for center of mass. You didn't want to take it. And another small landing gear about here. Mirroring this. Mm, like that. Yeah. Okay. That really moved our center of mass. Oh boy. Um. Okay. We now have the finished product. Let's save this as a... we call it tutorial plane. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, I have no idea how well this flies. We'll just have to try it. It should be stable. It should. It has air intakes. Which I could have mounted on a nice way, which I will do. Because that looks ugly. Okay. So then, let's take this one to the skies. And this plane as it is right now should very... Not very straight, but fly. <laughs> and this is about all you have to desire. Um, it should, should pitch up. And it does fly quite rather nicely. But there's one weakness, let's say, with it. Let's pit, let's trim it out using the trim keys, because they're awesome. But there's one disadvantage. See that thing um, flies kind of nicely. But if I start rolling over, why doesn't it do that? Um, there's somewhat magic at work here. Not really working. Yeah. See? What I mean? You can really get this thing far away from the velocity vector. Doesn't really care. And... That in itself can become quite problematic. If you want to fly your plane straight. Because, um, yeah, if the velocity vector goes away from your plane's heading that much, you have problems. But all in all, it's quite a nice design. You can, though, change the fact that your velocity vector goes away sideways from your nose so much from time to time by making a... Oops, that was the wrong key. Mm -hmm. Well... Key usage is now reworked. You can add a small little control surface. Uh, that one has a garbage lift rating. That's a little better, and that's a control surface too. Okie dokie. See, now we have er we've added a vertical control, S vertical control surface, a tail fin. Okay, call it that. And that should now make our plane complete, fly well, and fly good. Um, we can also do a few other things, if you want to. As you saw, this one had a very high roll rate, which was design intended, let's say. Um, yeah. We can go a little crazy. What I like to do often is... I, try, I tend to make biplanes, because you can do that very easily in Kerber Space Program. Mm, yeah, that didn't work as I intended it to be. Mirror that on this side, please. Copy this wing and stick it underneath. Here, maybe. Mm, 
Maybe I need to stick it in an ATV more. Like this. That's probably as good as it as it gets. And you can see we immediately should have much more lift. Our center of lift didn't really move. Why should it uh, even? They haven't really done anything drastic. Let's get these over each other. And this should now self-ride itself into the wind streams to fly, to have the wings level to the ground. It should. Don't correct me on that. Let's add a little tune there to save it and launch it. Um, first lift, and secondly we've like a, I think it's called angular shaped wing. At least the lower wing here, it points upwards. And that should self ride ourselves to the wind stream, in theory. But as you see, after a little bit of trimming, the plane flies as it should. It flies quite quick. You can make acrobatics with it. Ooh, look at the G loading. 10 Gs. Ouch, I don't wanna be careful. Jab, jab right now. And as you see, I can do whatever I want. It always self rides itself back into the windstream, even after such crazy maneuvers like this because I've added this vertical control surface here and that really helps with all the audi audios and things it's very twitchy on the control surfaces but I don't mind that and if I leave it pointing like that it always um, let's yeah that didn't work let's pitch up a little bit a little more like this yeah, like this. It should now rewrite itself into the wind stream so that the wings now level out again. And that's a feature you may desire because it makes your plane so much planes so much more nicer to fly. The talk about speaking ability. Okay, now we've put on the SAS system, and as you see, it does a phenomenal job with keeping your craft doing what you like them to do. I just think it's sometimes overkill for planes because if you're a good enough plane pilot, regardless of you having Ferrum Aerospace Research, you won't really need your SAS flying your plane somewhere on the planet with atmosphere. Um, yeah, I will think I'll include a little bonus footage of me landing at the dirt strip there over there and I'll probably accelerate the video footage from now on until we land. I gotta tell you I really miss Far's ability to make individual control surfaces when you see how the the tail the tail fin goes with it when I roll and points in directions. Ah, what can you do? So, now we're back to the final approach. Thanks for staying with me. And let's glide it in. Although I don't think we are going to be massively um, successful doing so. We'll see. It's a fairly light plane. Has a good amount of lift. It suffrites itself with the windstream. It flies very stable. Ah. Uh, a sixth of throttle. Looks like it does this plane good. Anyways, we are approaching the dirt stream. Mm, it's not stream. Strip. Mm, we're way too high. I should point myself downwards. That's going to be a little hazardous landing. Mm, bugger. Oh. That's what's happened if you take off. I just survived there. <laughs> that what, that's what happens if you take off the pitch trip and try to go in for a landing way too slow, close to stall speed. 
Anyways, let's try that again. Welcome back, people. We're in on our approach. I've decided to go from it to it from in cockpit mode. Because it's always fun to do that. We're in on our final landing approach. I'm just using... I was using the... I should do that again. The trimming. Oops, that was the wrong key. Regardless, we don't really need any... sort of high amount of throttle any longer. Let's just check it. Yeah, that's just enough throttle. Pitch back. We still have our gear down. Nope. Okay. That should be good enough for in cockpit landing now. Let's recenter our view. Anyways, we now also have access to our control surfaces. Go down on throttle. Just a bunch. Gear is out. Pitch it. Change our final approach. Zoop. Now I'll go out to the outer cockpit view. We're way too fast. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Brakes. Oh, we bounced. That's not good. Anyways, I was in the wrong velocity. Let's circle in for another pass. Uh, no, that's not the wrong one. That was a bad idea. We're going to almost hit the mountainside here. But I'll, I'm having fun. I'm way too controllable. Uh, I miss FAR. We are way too fast. Okay. Looks like it's the right thing. <laughs> Ouch. Ah. It's a small little plane. And just a fun little thing to do. Anyways, I think I've tested that. A small little plane, if you tend to its features. Um, tend to its features. Good enough. It's very controllable. Maybe not landable. Good enough. But uh, that's a story for another day, I guess. That should really help its landability. <laughs> I think. What will happen if I take these ones off? Mm, not bad, actually. Yeah. Mm. Smaller control surfaces? Yeah, good idea. Mm, Even though it looks kind of Funny. I think we'd probably have done better doing it like this. Much less twitching around and stuff. Anyways, if you tend to your plane's characteristics, watch your center of mass, align it in front of the center of lift, so that the center of lift is behind the center of mass and any aerodynamic forces, act behind your center of inertia more, which will make your craft always try to write itself into the wind stream which for me is what I desire upon craft design mm. yep it will make your plane nice and controllable very nice indeed uh, yeah, I'm just playing around with it a little more. That's heavy, right? Yeah. Must have messed up our center. Hmm. Not really. Okay. Let's fit another control surface. If you ask me. I always like the canards. Even though I think the Tayfun looks better. The canards just simply... Nah. F it. Let's go for the tail fin, because it's nice. And just for sh for demonstration purposes, that should fly very well now. Anyways, what were we speaking about? Question mark? 
well back for our last try of the landing, like I said. We'll do that anyways. Let's pick up some speed. We should be coming in relatively well. If not way too fast. But that's here for another day. And we skipped. Yay! Told ya we would nail it. Well, that's the final beast of a plane we made. Looks kinda nice, right? Um, I've turned to its wing shape a little. Our beauty of a plane be kind of became an ugly of a plane. I don't care. It flies well. Really has beautiful flight characteristics. Like you'll see. Lifts off beautifully. Makes a loop. Gets the gear in. And you can even fly it in cockpit. No problem. Um, can you please change my orbital speed readings? Yes, thank you. Follows the velocity vector, regardless of from which direction you take it. You can can you do? Yeah, you can even do crazy things like these, without having too much problems. Although that was kind of hazardously close. Right? Yeah. Anyways, four planes out. Have fun building your own plane.